Hello, so what's going on? So, you're watching Z Create, and today we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Create a background, select a solid, maybe a white color this time. Now, write something, or you can pick a logo of your own choice if you want. Enlarge it a bit. Okay, so after this, let's go to layer and pick auto trace. See the property and hit OK. Okay, so disable the text layer and now we have this layer. So go to effects and presets and try to stroke. Paste it on your auto trace layer. Change it to reveal original image now play with the settings let's put a keyframe on the start for now disable the background so we can see what we are creating okay increase the brush size okay so let's move to and go to 4 seconds then put the start back to 100 and uh, okay so now we can we can't see more masks we can't see the whole logo this is because we haven't selected the all masks like our mask check here so click on this and now So this is our animation. You don't need to put keyframe on the end. So just put keyframe on the start. So this is our animation. It looks cool. Uh, we can easy ease them. Press F9 on your keyboard by selecting the keyframes and okay. Then go to Draft Editor. F9 on your keyboard. Graph Editor make your graph look like mm, this maybe so it's fast in the start and then slows down cool okay so you can make this keyframe you can make this keyframe to maybe end at 4 second 15 frames or maybe at 4 second I think it's fine so after that uh, let's uh, make it colorful so uh, select fill and drop it down on your layer select uh, the color of it select the color which you want i think the purple would go after this pick another effect cc fast blur cc radial fast blur drop it down increase the amount maybe to 75 or 80 then select the brightest and for the anchor point select it and press it somewhere above your logo or text so it to be honest looks like the ray of hope I don't know why so now we can do one more thing uh, we can animate this uh, ray of hopes <laughs> Uh, let's put a keyframe on center and then go to like 5 seconds or maybe 5 seconds 15 frames and uh, drag this like to the out of the screen most right go back again to the 15 frames where we put the first keyframe and make it to <coughs> make it to most left so So with time it will make our logo look like this you know uh, like a source of light is moving behind your logo you can easy ease them okay then uh, we can add glow as well if you want uh, right now if you see our logo is kind of uh, blur 
so for that just uh, hit ctrl D on your keyboard to have its duplicate and in this duplicate let's change the color so you can differentiate close this and uh, you can delete the radial fast blur or you can decrease the opacity but I would recommend to delete it so after that just go to the opacity property of lower layer in which we have this res and uh, decrease the opacity to maybe 60% would do I think ok let's play it let's look good and it's visible first of all so let's go back to text layer so after the reveal logo I want the text to be revealed as well no? so for that we'll make the text layer right above change the color so you can see that this is our text layer so I want it to reveal at maybe 4 seconds and 15 frames make the work area size a big then click on opacity and decrease it to 0 at the start is 0 and then after 1 second 5 second 15 frames it would be like 100 make it to 5 second and 10 frames ok so easy is them make it visible you can change the color of your text layer as well if you want make it to white maybe let's look let's look cool you know it, it shows some like it has depth behind it so it looks cool then we can do one more thing I want to make this slides to continue moving so for that uh, I just go right here in the layer of the uh, the layer behind and put the keyframe at 6 second 15 frames so it's, it would be continue it would be moving continuously it looks cool uh, now for the other part of the animation what we are going to do we are just going to make a circle right here pick a shape layer make a circle ok that's a square pick a lips and make a circle align it because I want uh, to reveal some footage behind this logo no? so for that we just going to create this uh, circle and then maybe add to yep right there put a keyframe on a scale decrease it to 0 then make it increase to make sure your circle covers the whole composition ok so easy is them and put it behind your logo ok so now I, I just going to import a clip which I have created so the clip I am going to use which will represent the logo the main theme of logo so here is my clip and I want this clip to reveal as in a circle so for that I just going to put it right above the circle and uh, make it so just put your clip below the shape layer and pick alpha max shape layer 1 and i want the logo to disappear as well after the review after the clip is revealed so for that i'm just going to opacity keyframes to make it disappear likewise do with the other two layers
okay so let's see our animation this look cool uh, you can do one more thing uh, you can change the color of your fill as you want uh, let's say I really like the color when the logo is revealed so for that I'm just going to put a keyframe at color right here when the logo is revealed fully but before that let's settle 4 second 15 frames I want this color to be maybe more of a pink I don't know let's see how it's looking So this is our animation for today, I really hope you like the video and uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. So for more let me know if you want me to create something similar to this. So keep supporting me and uh, take care.